Hey guys, my name is Dylan. Uh, I'm really struggling with this question. Please, can you help me? Thank you. The question is saying a company uses a coding system, right? But what they are wanting to do is to identify their client and then each code is made up of two letters and a sequence of digits. Now, what that means is the letters are starting when you are making the code. So you can have five, two and then then you talk about a p and a q no the p and the q must always be the two initial letters that you start with and then for example ad 108 or rr 45789 now the other thing that you guys need to think about here is they are not specifying how many digits are there they're just telling you that it is a range of digits but what you actually do know is that there's only two alphabets or rather two letters for that met so that's one thing that you need to be thinking about before we continue with anything then the letters are chosen from a d r S and U. So I've got five of them. So I'll just write here. I've got five letters. And then letters may be repeated in the code. They may be repeated in the code. You know, if you repeat a letter, then something else must not be repeated. Then they say the digits are from zero to nine. So that would then mean I have 10 digits I used but no digit may be repeated because you repeat a letter and you repeat a digit, it means two people will have the same code. But now we're trying to identify them as new clients or something like that. So we're trying to make them different. Now, the things I said I want to mention before is that whenever we have what we call repetition, right? So when I have repetition, we normally use what we call exponential. A way of calculating this thing exponential um, my spelling is running away from me there um, so when there's repetition we normally use exponential but if there is no repetition uh, no rep then here we are to use what we call a factorial which is like an exclamation mark you know when when I'm trying to, to tell you your, your, your business and I say don't do that and then there's an exclamation at the end. That's what we do. But to find this on a calculator, I will show you as we go about doing the calculations going forward, right? Now, let's look at the actual question. Now. The question says, how many different clients can be identified with a coding system that is made up of two digits and two, uh, two letters and two digits? So that would then mean I have one, two. Those are my letters. One, two, those are my digits. So right now what this means is I'm creating codes for people that have only four spaces, the letters and the digits. So I'm not going to consider all the spaces that are possible to find. But right now I'm limiting it to say, remember, after you do this, then you will say two letters and three digits. You will say two letters and four digits. You get what I'm saying, right? So right about now, we're only starting with two and two. Now, let's look at what we can say. So I've got five letters here, right? So it means on the first spot, if you look at the first spot on, on this thing, the code that I want to create, I have five letters that I can use. And why I've got five of them is because I can repeat any other letter after using it. Also, the second spot will have five letters. If they had said there is no repetition, just to try and explain, if they had said there is no repetition, then it would mean it will only be five for the first letter, but for the second letter it would be four. Because if I've used one, then it means I'm now left with only four letters. I hope you guys understand this. But right now, because there's repetition, I use five, I still do have five. So if I use one in the five, and then I say, how many am I left with to use again? I still have five to use. So that's why I'm saying we've got five and five. Now let's go talk about the numbers or the digits. So the digits they are saying, it also must be two digits, but there is no repetition. No digit may be repeated. So that would mean the first one, I've got 10 of them because we agreed that we have 10 of them. But after using one of them, I no longer have 10 of them. I now have nine of them. So then to find the answer for this, then it will then be equal to five multiplied by five multiplied by 10 and then multiplied by nine. So this will be five times five times 
uh, 10 times 9. And this is equal to uh, 2,000, sorry about that, 2,250. So these, this is how many different clients can I identify using this uh, method that they want me to use here. Now let's look at the second question. The second question says, determine the least number of digits that is required for a company to uniquely uh, identify 700,000 clients. So now what we're then going to do here is, I call this a trial and error method. Right now we used two digits, right? They're saying least number of digits. So I used two digits and I found that it was 2250, so 2,225 uh, and 50, I mean. Uh, but right now if I use three digits, then you, I'm sure you are aware that roughly I will have a, a number less than that. And then if I use four digits, what will I have? If I use five digits, what will I have? So that's what I'm trying to say you guys need to be thinking about. So let's look at what I mean. So I have five again, five again, multiplied by, and then if you look at this, I will say 10 multiplied by uh, nine multiplied by eight. And I'm gonna try and see how many people can I cover there. And I say five multiplied by five, multiplied by 10, multiplied by nine, multiplied by eight, multiplied by seven. And I check how many people can I cover even there. If I'm still not there, then I will be adding my numbers. So I will then say this multiplied by eight which will be equal to, you see, 18,000, and then multiplied by seven, and then this will be one to, uh, one 126,000. So, so this is 18,000, this is 126,000, and I'm still very far from that. So I'm gonna go again and say, five multiplied by five times 10, times a nine, times a eight, times a seven, times a six, and then I check how much will this be, and then multiplied by six, and this will be equals to, if you look at it, 756,000. So I have seven, five, six, zero, 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 which is above that. So the least number will then be, um, this is one, two, three, four, five. So it will then be five digits.